we're paying, according to Bill Talbot, an article, it's three to five million dollars a year for the next three years to pay for this. Um, but I don't see where the savings that has been proven that the savings are actually there. Uh, you'll have to do things like, I see George here, first brought this to my attention, I think, truing up um, contracts, teachers' contracts as you merge these districts. You know that you know, you have people getting paid with benefits at this level, there's new people coming in at this level. When have we ever seen this happen? Right? That's not what's going to happen. This group's going to come up to here. So that's going to increase costs. Um, they talk about an opportunity gap, gap. I think if they were really concerned about an opportunity gap, they'd open up school choice, which is not, there's a lot of limited school choice, but if you're really worried about that gap, you have that. Um, it's about superintendents wanting, you know, complaining that they go to too many meetings, and there are ways we can do that. We can look at combining supervisory unions rather than these districts and forcing these schools all to work together. Uh, there's going to be rules of agreement when they come in, uh, where they all have to agree. So if you have four people at the table, four, four towns, and I've got the smallest school, um, and they may all decide that they want to vote to shut down my school. We can actually put in a veto. They're talking about these rules of agreement where I can actually say, before we all agree to this, I can have veto power over that. So either they're going to overrule that on me because they're going to be what they call temporary rules of agreement. Nobody knows what they are. So either you're going to force me to shut down, and that's going to cause quite a, quite a few problems with the surrounding areas, or I'm going to say, no, you can't shut me down. So when the budgets go up, these other towns are all going to blame this town. Instead of everybody pointing their finger at the state, they're going to point to each other. And it's just not, I don't see anything about that being good for our smaller towns. 